Okay. Good luck and have fun. Welcome to my next TVP guide. Super excited to show you guys this build today. I really like it a lot. Uh, let's put on my camera. Hide that. Okay, sweet. So this build is a really safe build. I really like it for ladder especially, just because there's so many Protoss players who play really aggressive and just do different things, and I think this build helps defend against those things quite well. It is weak against Stargate though, so you would need to react differently versus Stargate, but that's pretty much the only like thing you would need to vary against. Um, so this build is 16 racks, 16 gas, Um, like I mentioned, this build is quite defensive in nature. You'll see as the video goes on, but it goes to a super powerful timing um, with plus one. I really like it a lot. I just like tanks, though, so that's kind of my personal preference. Some people hate tanks in TVP, so this build may not be for you if that's the case. I like to scout at 18 in TVP. Just personal preference. Euthermals also suggested it. I think it's good. Alright, Reaper Orbital Expand. Sorry, really loud car outside there. <laughs> Your command center okay. upgrade is complete. Um, you'll get a depot around one, one hundred, like one minute fifty seconds or so. Marine, go ahead and go scout with that Reaper. Rally the SCV that comes out of the orbital to build your factory. Right around two ten. The SCV that builds the depot is gonna go build a bunker. Especially versus Cyber First, it's important to have. You don't have to get it if it wasn't Cyber First, though. You could delay it till, say, four minutes. Reactor and refinery. If you're really worried about early Protoss aggression, let me pause it real quick. Say there was like a, uh, a proxy gate. Um, don't get the reactor right away. You just keep pumping like marines from the barracks without a reactor And then once you get like four or maybe even more like three or four then you can start the uh, the reactor up Okay, we orbital starport nice. hellion and then start marines If you get your marines going by 305, you're doing pretty good. After the Hellion, start up a tech lab. And this Hellion is really good to pair with your Reaper for scouting. It's almost guaranteed that you can get a scout into the main unless they've completely walled off. And the SCV that builds the star port, it's going to build our next two barracks, one after another. So keep it in the vicinity, go ahead and swap add-ons, factory will build another tech lab, and you'll make a barracks. Start up your raven. Oh, I did forget to mention, very important though, um, just as a way to link tasks together, as soon as this orbital finishes you want, and you drop that mule, go ahead and build a depot. And then just keep constant depot production. We finish that add-on. Nice. As soon as that tech lab finishes on the factory, you're going to start up a tank as soon as you can afford it and take your gas at the same time you start your tank. Select something else. There we go. Around this time, you can start building your wall around your natural because you're going to have tanks, so it works out. You can, you know, deny stalkers from sniping them. Swap add-ons, build another barracks. Don't get the reactor in the starport, you need to wait, you need gas. 
Start up stim. As soon as the tank finishes, start up another tank. From here, you're just making marines. You can't afford marauders yet. As soon as that NG base start or finishes, get that plus one ASAP. You could also prioritize plus one over stim. Around this time, once you have your three barracks building, you well, once you're on three barracks, you want to start making double depot. So there was a series of things that just happened. <clears throat> right around 510 or so, maybe a bit earlier, um, get this reactor on the starport and take this next gas so you can link those two tasks together. So I like to siege one tank in the main and one tank by my production to help, you know, defend against them and, you know, blinkins and charge lots. I'm um, sorry, a lot going on. Um, so as soon as the factory finishes its second tank, lift it, go build a reactor, try and build it as close as you can. If you can only have to lift it a little bit away, I, I didn't want to do that because I'd have four buildings in a row, but if you can just like lift it to like the next space over. The sooner you get this reactor down, the sooner you can make mines, and the sooner the mines can join your push. Um, when the second barracks lands, you start combat shields, and then you can begin marauder production. That's your cue to begin marauders, is when you start your combat shield and both barracks are landed. Okay, let's resume. I also should mention, right around now, 530, you can cut SCVs at 46. And you won't resume them until you've built your third command center and your next two barracks. So up to five racks. Camera. Begin medevac production as soon as you can afford it. It's going to be around 545. We finished that add on. You can go harass with the Raven before this point, like as soon as you clear the first observer. Um, if you have the APM, you know, go auto turret harass uh, behind mineral lines. It's not completely necessary though. Alright, so 615 is our rollout. You'll need to obviously get things unseaged before then, but with this push, you'd actually, you should have a ton of Marines, two tanks, four Marauders. Two medevacs and two mines. The mines are going to come a little bit late. If I selected them right now and moved them across the map, they would get with the... Because uh, mines move pretty fast, they would have arrived pretty much at the same time. Your forces are under attack. So at 6.30, you'll get your third command center, followed up with two barracks. Keep the uh, unit production constant though, mines, marines, marauders, and medevacs, because you're going to go for a drop. To follow up your push maybe versus blink you don't do that but you still need those units anyways finished learning and right around 6 45 is when we would get there and as you can see this is a really powerful timing you can disable colossus immortals um it's nice because even versus mass gateway you have these mines that can help a lot and especially if you target fire the tanks onto stalkers it's just really powerful um i'm just really glad i found this build because I, I just think it's so good and it's really simple to execute, in my opinion, compared to some other TVP builds. Like Mind Drop, I always found really hard to execute. This one just seems to kind of flow for me. All right, so now that we've, you know, started those barracks, we're resuming SCV production. Start up plus one as soon as, uh, plus one armor as soon as plus one attack finishes. You can even queue it if you'd like. Get a tech lab and a reactor. And from here, our next plan is to hit a 2-2 timing with 6 Vikings and 5 Ghosts. So everything from here on works up towards that point. When your uh, plus 1 armor is about halfway, build an armory and another engineering bay. Okay, so after you have six medevacs in total, 
begin your Viking production. And if you notice, as you start beginning Vikings and you're getting your tutu and you're getting ghosts, everything starts becoming really expensive. It's why it's really important to like not lose your bio as much as possible. You want to keep as much of it alive from your first push, from your drop. Try not to lose it because you want to invest in quality units and it's really hard to afford, afford both bio and ghosts and Vikings all at the same time with a build like this because we cut economy so much. Which is completely normal in a 3-1-1 push, by the way. But, um, no, in 3cc it could be different. Ghost Academy at 8.30. Always 8.30. I did forget to mention that. As soon as plus one armor finishes, get that 2-2. Get your gases. Transfer SCVs. I noticed around 9 minutes is when I need to start transferring SCVs. The minerals have up and so down. you're just from here making Viking, Ghost, SCVs. Um, you can make a couple of Marines as well. You're likely to have traded out some, but hopefully not too much. Something I did forget was um, Shockwaves. I got it a little bit late, so get Shockwaves. Um, 9.30 is when you want to start this command center. Follow it up with... Eight more, sorry, three more barracks for a total of eight. Ghost reporting. I'll be getting those soon, I believe. I could have gotten them a bit faster. Ready to blunder. At this moment, we have six Vikings. Uh, if they're really having the glosses, keep making them. And so at this time, I have two ghosts in production, but units total, I'll soon have five ghosts. One ghost is still in production. Six Vikings, a whole bunch of bio, and six medevacs. 2-2 two -two will be done shortly. And that's our timing. I think if you're a little bit more on top of getting the plus one a bit faster than I did, I think mine was a few seconds late, the faster your 2-2 two -two finishes. So from here, we're just beginning our late game transition. You can get two starports, um, fusion core. You can even build another factory at this time or take your factory and swap it off the reactor and uh, make it a tech lab. On these barracks, you want two tech labs and one reactor. Get missile turrets as well in the late game as you just, you know, DTEs are so prevalent as well as warp ins. Uh, you just need a lot of missile turrets uh, the longer the game goes in TVP. You could even get them earlier than I did. With your floating money, just throw it on more command map. centers. Nice. Mirror our upgrades are almost Upgrade done. We we'll go for our timing. And here. hopefully you're able to the crush Protoss from here. Alright. Well, thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments. Um, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.